Jolie going public with a very private matter. She has announced that she has undergone a double mastectomy. In an op-ed article in the New York Times, Jolie said she has the BRCA1 gene, BRCA1 gene, and in her case, she says that that gives her an 87% risk of developing breast cancer. Jolie's mother died of ovarian cancer at the age of 56. The Oscar winner discussed the surgery with partner Brad Pitt and decided to go ahead because of her children. Jolie hopes this will inspire other women to get tested for the gene. The editor of People magazine talked about Jolie's revealing announcement on Good Morning America. When you have someone share their story, no one knows it better than you, Robin. Uh -huh. um, that's incredibly moving and incredibly powerful. I mean, this is going to be com a complete game changer when it comes to testing and breast cancer. The actress had both breasts removed in February and has since had reconstructive surgery. And joining us now for a look at this kind of proactive and preventive surgery is Dr. Victoria Dooley from St. John Providence. Good to have you with us. Always great to be here. First, let's just start with your overall, you know, feeling and, and response to, to her big announcement today. I think it was a very courageous decision. I think it was a very selfless decision for her to want to be around for her children that she has to want to decrease their chances of breast cancer from 87% to down to like 5%. I think it was very courageous decision. Let's talk about uh, genetic testing. That's what the gentleman you heard on Good Morning America say. This could be a game changer when it comes to testing. Genetic testing is expensive and not everyone can afford to do that, first of all. It is expensive. Often not covered by insurance as well. There are kind of recommendations in place. Not all women should be running out going to get genetic testing. Who Definitely should not. be just considering even getting this test to find out if you're at greater risk? Sure. People with a strong family history of breast and ovarian cancer in their family. Women who had breast cancer at an early age, meaning less than 50. So if you're someone whose mom or sister got breast or ovarian cancer in their 30s or their 40s, that's the type of person who'd want to consider the genetic testing. If you find out that, it is, it, as it's referred to, BRCA1 or BRCA2 positive, in Angelina Jolie's case that we heard that she was told by her doctor she had an 87% chance of developing the disease, yes. it's not always that high, correct? It's not always that high. Each individual has different risk factors. The average is about a 40 percent increase of getting breast cancer but about a uh, sorry, 60, 60 percent, right? but a 40 percent increase of getting ovarian cancer. So the BRCA1 increases your risk of getting breast and ovarian cancer. What do you do with this information? I obviously talk to your doctor first of all, right? If, if, you get, if you get a BRCA1 or BRCA2 positive um, result, but let's say you don't choose the more extreme route, which is what she did. What else can you do as a woman if you, you have to be diligent news? about getting screened? So MRIs, mammograms, all those things can detect cancer early. Now these aren't going to prevent the breast cancer from occurring, but the earlier you catch it, the higher likelihood of surviving the diagnosis. Big so, decisions women have to it make. It is. It Always is. take them to your doctor and see if you're a candidate to be tested. Dr. Dooley, Definitely. thank you very much. Thank you.